Word has reached me that you've been indulging in sex. Welcome back to my dark corner of this sick world. I promise you won't regret coming. The Vampire Happening is a vampire sex comedy in the vein of Nocturna or Vampire Hookers, but made in Germany, a country renowned for how well their sense of humour translates. At the tone, it will be 12 midnight. <coughs> this is Radio Transylvania. The plot, as we are generously referring to it, follows Hollywood star Betty Williams, who is visiting the castle of her ancestors in Transylvania and terrifying butler Joseph. I've come over from the other side. The other side? Yes, from the United States. Perfectly normal way to say that. Joseph is freaked because of Betty's resemblance to her vampire ancestor, Clarimondi. He devoured men. And Betty is fascinated by all her ancestors. Open it up. <laughs> Too fascinated. Open it. But I, mean, Look, I never religious. met him. Oh, well, if you never met him, then that's perfectly normal. Bust open the coffin. Oh, Betty settles in, teasing the monks next door. <gasps> and unlocking the coffin in which Clarimondi has been sealed for the last century. Mistaken identity shenanigans ensue as Clarimondi kills the monk with whom Betty had made a date. And he gets a moving eulogy. How deep is the meaning of the candles in the innocent hands of these virginal girls? From Benny Hill. I, I mean, uh, how very brief is our skirt? And that's the thing about this film. On the one hand, quite a few people get killed. On the other, it's like carry-on blood-sucking. <laughs> There's a girls' school on the other side of the monastery. So, for those keeping track of the geography, that's Vampire Castle, Monastery, Girls' School. Town planning at its best. If this seems overly creepy, don't worry. Gabrielle, Kirsten, will you stop chattering? Don't you realize you're over 20 and still in this school? Yeah, I think we covered that. By day, the schoolgirls have fun. I must really tell the headmaster about this. <laughs> but by night... You forgot something. Very careless with her underwear, that one. Again, but by night. Oh. The proximity of the school introduces Betty to teacher Mr. Larson, and they hook up. Then I'd, I'd drive my stake into you, <laughs> you little devil. <laughs> <laughs> While Clarimonde continues her killing spree. <laughs> in the face of utter indifference from Betty. I refuse to believe in vampires. And comically inept resistance from Joseph. Now, I'll pierce your black heart, Clara Mondi. Surely. Trying to stake someone who he could have staked at any point in the last hundred years. And of course, it's more difficult now because how can he tell who's who? That must be the Baroness. Claremondi would be sucking by now. I think you're underestimating Betty there. Huh? Poor Larson mistakes Claremondi for Betty and pays for his mistake. I'd like to have plain sex for now. I say pays. After Clarimondi is done, Betty returns. Okay. Wait a minute, Betty. You're not sleeping now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, 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 wait. <laughs> Wish fulfillment is definitely a feature of this type of film. Wait a minute. She. Betty was different last night. Maybe better. We now reach the vampire happening of the title, an annual costume party for vampires, which Betty attends dressed as Clarimondi 
and Claramondi attends dressed as Betty, notes the subtle vanity plate. Well, well, just like my coffin. Why? Because, oh, the confusion, it'll be so funny. Oh, dear. The party takes us back into Benny Hill territory. A large one. This is Dracula, by the way. But something's come up. The least dignified Dracula you will ever see. I'm coming! And we reach the point to which all this has surely been building. Now change clothes with me quick. As Claramondi saves her ancestor from the other vampires. But why are you helping? Aren't you one of them? Yes. But your family. Oh, you know, family. Guess I owe you for sleeping with the teacher, but let's not examine it too closely. Stop it. I won't have it. That's what happens in the film, but you may have noticed Betty has no goal, is never really in any danger, and the fact that she's a big Hollywood star makes so little impact that we have to be reminded of it. As you Hollywood people say, uh, slip into something uh, comfortable. Claramondi is likewise unmotivated except for killing people, and yet the movie still expects us to be on her side. This flawless body must not fall into ashes. She is far too hot to die. Point is, no plot. This should have been called The Vampire Happenings because all it is is stuff happening to a vampire until... We'll ship her back home. To Hollywood. Who'll notice another bloodsucker in Hollywood? Satire. <laughs> Incidentally, this is directed by Oscar-winning cinematographer Freddie Francis, who can do better. Well, it's a hell of a lot better than blood sucking. Thanks for watching. To see an uncensored version of this review, join us on Patreon as an acolyte. Who are cinema's most unlikely Draculas? Let us know in the comments below. Oh, damn amateur vampire hunter.